Today's adventure begins at dusk as of the recording of this Wednesday, June 23rd, 2021, current time, 7.39 p.m. And I am heading onto Walt Disney World property directly towards Magic Kingdom, Big the Foot. Yeah, I know it's a little, it's, well, overcast, that would be an understatement. It's storming, lightning, thunder, and rain. Let's do it. Could classify this episode, oh, squeakiness of the windshield wipers, could classify this episode as what's it like in MK, the last hour before close, park closes at 9 p.m. during a rainstorm, and also Haunted Mansion stretch room is back. I'm gonna do that, or attempt to. And Jungle Cruise has some new additions. And at this hour, there are no cast members out front. You just go right in to parking. Over the speed hump. I know, they're squeak, they're, they're squeaky, Big the Foot. It's okay, it means they're working. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I am happy to report I have purchased a new umbrella. Keep me sheltered from the elements as it rains. A little nighttime adventure. Inviting you to join me. Shall you? And not only were they, they were cones, they're also puddles. Everyone is exiting with their ponchos and umbrellas. I might be the only one heading in. I might be the only one heading in. And car alarms. I feel like I'm swimming upstream past heavy metal Mickey. Even though he's made think out of aluminum. Yeah, I'm the only one heading in. I don't have a poncho, but I have an umbrella. Oh, well, I think there's a bus about to go over the... Yep. There's one of the Disney buses over the top. Tram area still not being utilized by trams, nor is the Epcot Loop monorail. Yeah, I'm swimming upstream. Just catching the tail end of the monorail. You know what? I think I'm gonna take the monorail over instead of the ferry boat. Take the ferry boat out. Take a look at this. No more plexi, no more dividers here on the monorail whatsoever. And also over on the other side is the express monorail. And at this hour, the express monorail is only leaving the parks. So I have to take the resort monorail around. Also, this is the only place right now, transportation that you are required to wear these. Walking around, you know, whoa, I gotta sit down, I gotta sit. Gonna get the crossing of, oh, there was right over there. Wrong side, dang, I missed, I, I had it misjudged it. Now I checked the app a little earlier and due to the storm, a lot of the attractions in Frontierland were down, but they have popped back up, short wait times. Big Thunder, Splash, Mansion, five minutes. Jungle Cruise, 15 minutes. Doors are closing now at the Grand Floridian. The Polly's under construction, so there was only one stop. Yeah, that's what I mean. There was only one stop on the resort monorail, so should be there in about two minutes. MK. Not a lot of guests walking along the sidewalk that runs parallel to the monorail. Pulling into the station, for obvious reasons, it is implementation of weather is happening. The raindrops rolling down the window. Oh, as I walk in, there goes the monorail. Gotta be careful though, these, these ricks here are very slick. Yep, it certainly is very rainy. 8.25 right now, and it says 20 minute wait for Jungle Cruise, so this might be the only one, depending, I, I really like to get on Mansion, but I really wanna see the sunken boat scene that just happened over here. So it's 20 minutes. You're gonna be getting on Genghis Gertie. That's the name of the boat. And you'll also notice there are no more dividers. There are no more dividers here as well. And there's no one sitting in the back. They wanna shield everyone from the elements there. It'd be kinda nice to sit all the way back there, but there is, other than that, everyone is just kinda back to how it used to be here on the Jungle Cruise. There's no dividers, except the skipper has a divider. No one else. Hello. Well, the next five long days and ten long romantic nights. Because I didn't know you were signing up for. This is very awkward for you. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Um, anyway. <laughs> we started our journey on the Amazon River. Over here we have Inspiration Falls. They say that, oh, I'm sorry, to go deeper and deeper 
That's pretty neat. Yeah. With all the rain coming down. The Boy, this, these seats are very the wet. this morning of 
was like Jungle Cruise. Gotta do it. Yeah. Was it as painful for you as it was for me? Because I was like Jungle Cruise. <laughs> Gotta do it. Only support I get. Yeah. Uh, to everyone else, if you didn't laugh, thanks for leaving. Yeah. But really, those of you who didn't laugh, you can leave your comment card in that little blue bin up there on the boring in that little Somebody will give it right there on the side of it. I'm getting so wet. <laughs> because I can't remember if I said it or not, I'm going to say it again. As we approach the dock, everyone keep their hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. I wouldn't want anyone to experience any unnecessary peer pressure. One thing's for sure. Oh, look at the, the rain on the lens there. Jungle Cruise in the rain is quite an experience. Oh, also look at the stairwells. The stairway leading is not blocked off anymore. Going over to Tiki Room. That has been kind of stanchioned off for a long time. No more any markers or anything. And it's 846. I think I can make it over to Mansion before close. Taking this little shortcut through this little little alcove here. I always see the ferry boat over there and Mansion around the corner. It is 8.50 p.m. meaning there is 10 minutes. I have time to get on Mansion and go through the queue. The extended queue is back open as well as the stretcher. Oh yeah, that is a glorious sight. Even though it's kind of like hidden under the shroud and the shadows of nightfall, the stretch room is something that in Anaheim is reopened and here in Florida. And as you can see, there is virtually no one, well not virtually, there is really no one. Uh, virtually is something that's used quite a bit in the last year and a half. No, this is a, this is in real in real life, there is no one in here. And you know, I say the stretch room in Anaheim's open. I guess it's open. But nonetheless, here at WDW, the stretch room is back, fully back. And that is that is a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing, the stretch room. Oh man. It's gone for so long. Like, like since last year, since the reopenings in July, this was not here. And now it's here. Everything is moving forward. Okay, for one reason or another, it was, the stretch room was, you could walk through the stretch room. I'm looking at this hearse here, horse-drawn hearse. And now I'm turning and looking at the silhouetted out mansion facade. But yeah, there you, you walk through the stretch room, but it did not work. They did not do the spiel and all that. Good thing is, I kind of got stuck in the, well, as I went through and kind of saw all the different areas of the mansion that I really enjoy. Once I got to the ballroom scene, for a good while, probably for a good half a minute to a minute, I was kind of stuck looking at the dancers. So that was pretty cool. Just sitting here overlooking the ballroom scene with the dancers just going around, performing like a little show for me as I continued on. And then it finally started to move again and finished up going through the mansion. Stretch room had removed all the dividers. However, oh, there's some thunder. However, even though the stretch room had moved the device, I can't tell if that came from the mansion or if that came from the sky. Interesting. So at this hour, right before close, they have removed the dividers from the stretch room, but the stretch room was not working. It was not, it was not doing the spiel and all that. And it is now 9.04, which means the park is closed. Of course, the Emporium and Main Street stay open an hour later. I'm just gonna wander around a bit and see what it's like on a rainy after hours. Well, the final hour, you can't go that way. You cannot go that way. There is a cast member, but can walk that way. Head towards, I'm gonna start heading towards Main Street. Walking across the bridge over to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. I'll be able to go on it, but I can probably get a view of the last couple of riders. Making my direction up Nugget Way, up past the geysers here. Because even though the park closed a few moments ago, there are still others that are in line. So they will close off. Yeah, look at the geysers there. And these cactuses down here. I wonder if there's any hidden Mickeys in those cacti, plural of cactuses. But once the queue is emptied out, then the park can start its closing procedures. Might have missed the last one. Okay, I guess the last guest that I passed walking up. We're it. No more trains. That's it. Okay. No one exiting. Oh no, there's some guests exiting down there. That must have been the last train. I just missed it by a moment. Oh, oh, they just made the announcement. Closed. They just said, oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. 
Holy cow, that's cool. I have never caught that before. That is neat. The lights are now on. Wow. That was cool. Heard the closing announcement. Last train. Saw the last guests walking out the exit. That is so neat. Whoa! So neat to hear all that. I am really glad I have this umbrella. I lost my umbrella the other day and we ended up having to buy another one. Stopped at the store on the way in, got a, a pretty decent umbrella. So now walking by Splash Mountain over there, start making my way up to Main Street. They have announced that they are bringing fireworks back for the 50th anniversary celebration. 50th anniversary starts on October 1st of 2021. From here, looking at the side view of the castle, Main Street's still pretty busy over there. Everyone kind of heading out and getting their photos in front of the castle. I'm looking over at Tomorrowland, and from here, I'm looking at, down at this waterfall down here. Kind of this you know, very, very peaceful waterfall down the stair steps. And I'm going to take this and walk around through Tomorrowland and out that way and just get some views of Tomorrowland as I stroll along with the wet sidewalk, with the wet sidewalk, not the, re the wet sidewalk, as I stroll along and get some views of kind of a more or less empty Magic Kingdom via through the Tomorrowland exit, passing past, you know, some very familiar landmarks, and then out through the Tomorrowland exit as well. Yeah, not a lot of people back in here at this hour. Everyone is heading down Main Street USA and out through the front of the park. And I'm gonna take, not the monorail, but I'm gonna take the ferry boat back over. Not too long of a line. Admiral Joe Fowler. That's the boat I'm boarding. Got the Richard F. Irvine directly next to me. My boat is pulling away, but over there, the Richard F. Irvine is, is also gonna be having guests get on. Both boats are heading over, back over to TTC. A nice little monorail angle there going by Space Mountain. Yeah, this time of night they usually have two boats going across Seven Seas Lagoon. And the mon- ooh, there was some lightning over there. I miss it, maybe, maybe, it'll, maybe it'll happen again. Maybe we'll get the lightning. Oh, you can kind of see it over there. A little bit of lightning flashes as well. Yeah, I always love exiting across on the boats. With the view of the Contemporary over there, and the bus depot takes you to all the resorts and all the attractions and the monorail platform train station if you turn this direction you'll see grand floridian off in that distance as well very very beautiful across the seven seas that's kind of my thing taking the monorail in and the boats across seven seas out this is always a, a better exit in my opinion just uh, it's just always so beautiful, especially in the evening hours. This trusty umbrella, you can see the shadow there. Really came, well, you could see now the light is under this little walkway, you can't see it. Maybe when I get back here, be able to see the shadow again. Really? Nope. Can't see it. Where's the shadow? There it is. Really? It was very helpful. I would have, it would have been a more, not as pleasant an experience without having this. Although on the Jungle Cruise, just a heads up. If it's raining, the little awning that's on the boat will not shield you from the elements. <laughs> that is for sure. The question I have, and I've been stating this for a while, when will the Epcot Loop monorail, which is the beam you're seeing, come back? And will, when will the trams at TTC come back that are usually right through here? I want the Epcot Loop monorail and I want the trams. Nice little buildup of water here. Standing water it is, but it rained a lot today, especially in the late afternoon into the evening and a good portion of the uh, hour and a half. I think I got in the park around 7.30. 8? No. I think I really was in the park around 8.15. Yeah, I got here. Yeah. And then I stayed till another hour after, after close. Standing water everywhere. My socks are wet underneath my shoes. Woo. 
I'm not, the, I'm not the last ones to leave. I wasn't the first ones here. First ones here. First ones here. Because I did not get here at Rope Drop. And I'm not the last one to leave, but I'm pretty close to being one of the last ones to leave. There's still a few other cars in the parking lot though. And there will always be a car horn honking. <laughs> That's gonna do it for today. This was a very, very impulsive trip up here at the end of the evening. But I wanted to see the Jungle Cruise changes, the sinking boat. It's kind of tough to see in the, under the, the darkness, but you can see it a little bit from the back of the boat. That's pretty good. And I got to see the stretch room. Kind of, sort of. Well, none of the distancing markers anymore, but the stretch room, thought it was gonna be working. It really wasn't working for me at this hour. Power pole Mickey. Close it out, power pole Mickey. The vlog is